I've heard of stubborn, but this is a bit of a new extreme. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Hey guys, this is my review for Banshees of Innersharon. This is the newest film directed by Martin McDonan. If you haven't seen anything that this man has made, whether it be In Bruges, I mean, no disrespect, but you're a cult. Seven Psychopaths, I don't care, or Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri, <laughs> you owe it to yourself, especially if you are a fan or just a general admirer of well made movies because Martin just has a fantastic way of portraying great characters, great stories that often don't go in the way you think they will. And they always arrive at a conclusion that while may not answer every question still leaves you with an incredibly satisfying ending. I have been a fan of his ever since I saw in Bruges. You fucking retract that bit about my cunt fucking kids. I retract that bit about your cunt fucking kids. He's only made four films since in Bruges and in Bruges came out in 2008. Seven Psychopaths itself sat on one of the black script lists, like a list of prolifically well-written scripts that just weren't being touched because one of the very very key aspects that Martin is so good at is writing very funny but also very rounded, very relatable characters. And he does that in spades with Banshees. We have two characters played by Colin Farrell and Brendan Gleeson, both of which were in Bruges. This is the first time they've teamed up together in 14 years. This film follows these two Irishmen living on an island off the coast of Ireland, all the while the civil war is happening between the Catholics and the Protestants. It's a conflict that, which is almost on their doorstep, is so convoluted that they don't know who is the more favorable side in the conflict and they just decide to keep out of it. To the point where these two seemingly best friends have a split seemingly out of nowhere is so simple in concept, especially when you watch the trailer, you're just thinking, how is this a movie? And as Martin does with every movie he makes, he surprises you. And while it may be a little bit more subdued than Seven Psychopaths or Three Billboards, too bad. It is probably one of his more down to earth stories. This is quite a relatable story in the terms of stubborn men on stubborn islands and being so wrapped up in their own mortality, their own ideology, it comes to a level that is just absurd to both you as the audience member and the one sane person, it seems, on the island. Terry Condon is the actress who plays Colin Farrell's sister. If she doesn't get a Best Supporting Actress nom, I will be quite surprised. She is one of the most intrinsic characters in this film. She's the sane one looking out and the only one who can actually just see how silly the entire facade is. Wants to kind of get away from it all, get away from the rudimentary life that is the island life because it's eating away at people. Kind of like the character who's played by Perry Cognon. Apologies if I said his name wrong. He is also fantastic in this film, but he's the island idiot. But while he is a idiot, he has a layer to him that you can see is kind of just this wayward lost child that doesn't know what to do with anything else in his life. And then coming to the two main leads, Colin Farrell, my God, he absolutely kills it. He's played this kind of duncey character in other projects, but his array of emotions, you can see everything that's going on with his character. The direction that he gets from Martin is superb, which by the way, Martin is a fantastic director when, when it comes to helping his actors convey the story, not only with how they deliver the lines, but just their general emotion. Martin has a history of working in plays and working on the stage. Sometimes that can work, sometimes that can be a little bit of a, a detriment. David Mamet is kind of an example of that. He's done good and bad movies. Martin takes all of that knowledge, all of that skill, and he gives it to his actors, and they just perform the fuck out of the scene. His relationship with Brendan is hysterical, sad, heart-wrenching, and even a bit mysterious. I love how the story goes with these two. I do find their chemistry amazing. I find it so fresh, yet they've done this before. There are cases where sometimes friends just don't hang out with each other anymore. We've all had that kind of instance where we just parted. In this case, because they live on an island, they can't get away from each other. One's too stubborn to give it up, and the other is too stubborn to realize that 
he can't escape him. So he goes to an extreme that is so baffling that not only can his friend not understand it, but even some cases he himself cannot. And when the film does come to its conclusion, it ends very much like how Martin has ended his other movies. While the story isn't entirely over, it ends in a place that's good enough for the ending to be. You don't want more because if you went further, you wouldn't think any more about the movie. The movie would be done. But it keeps that thought in your mind and it keeps the movie in your mind. Something else that I didn't talk about at all is the cinematography in this movie. The cinematography is outstanding. Absolutely beautifully shot film. The coastline of Ireland with the drone shots and also just normally walking along the island is beautiful. I really regret not going to Ireland when I had the chance a few years ago. You fucking got that. If there's anything that maybe might be a little bit of a takeaway from the film, it is that it is a very basic story. This is definitely the most subdued story that Martin has ever done. If I were to make kind of a comparison, In Bruges is a sports car, whereas Banshees is a wagon. But it's a very, very intricate wagon. It just takes its time to kind of get going. So while the pacing is a little slow at certain points, it does take a little bit for the story to get going. There are some elements of the story, but just particularly with Brendan Gleeson's direction his character goes is a bit like, wow, that's that's a bit buddy and there are elements that you're kind of going well i didn't expect the story to go in that direction and that's kind of what martin does martin even says that he actually doesn't write his scripts with an ending in mind he kind of just works his way to get there but in the end my rating for banshees of insurance is a six out of seven it's definitely one of my favorite movies of the year so far i kind of walked in knowing this was going to happen because martin has not let me down yet while it wasn't exactly the movie i expected it still was a well-made very fun very intricate movie. Now one little thing I do have to kind of say is I'm a bit disappointed with the movie theater that I saw it in. If you guys ever wanted a really good example of how important sound mixing is, this experience was it. Now imagine watching a movie that's based on an island in Ireland and you can't hear the ocean and you can't hear the wind. When they walk into a bar you can hear the door come off of the wall but you can't hear go to close. When they sit in the bar, the chairs barely make any sounds and you can't hear anyone else talking. I don't know what was going on, but that was not happening when I was watching the movie. It was driving me nuts. Too bad. I thought about going outside and telling someone, but I knew I would sound like a right fucking film snob if I did. So I just sat there and just tried to get over it. And then I came home and I watched one of the scenes in particular that I knew that the audio was missing and blown the fucking hold. There's the wind, there's the ocean, there's the seagulls, there's everything I can hear. And I feel like I should see it again to get that experience. And maybe I would have a little bit more of a clear idea of how the film goes because it was bugging the fuck out of me for the first 10 minutes. But in the end guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did leave a like, and if you're interested in more subscribe, hopefully the lighting is a little bit better here. I am getting a little bit more used to it. I'm also almost sweating underneath these lights. Otherwise guys, that's all from me. I'll see you guys next time.